Hi, Dr. Johnson here. Let's go over type 7 ADD, and that's ADD with anxiety. So when you look at a QEEG, or brain map, you know, we call that our brain mapping process, we will often see overactivities or abnormal activities in the right frontal area. We call that the prefrontal cortex on the right side here. Overactivity in that prefrontal cortex area tends to generate anxiety. I'll often see patients who are, are on stimulant medication, and especially Adderall, where they'll have anxiety, they'll have insomnia. In fact, these folks just have a very difficult time transitioning from being awake to being asleep. So they'll have racing minds, racing thoughts. They just can't turn that brain off. Inflammation tends to be a big part of this type of ADD, so we'll often have to clean up diet and lifestyle with this type. For success with type 7 ADD, we need to balance out the right hemisphere and that right frontal area to help these children start to feel better so they can calmly focus and reduce that anxiety. Now again, when we look at attention deficit, it's important that we understand it's truly a neurological problem and it's a wiring problem, along with some chemical imbalances that contribute to that wiring problem. So we have the tools and we have the means to help the brain learn how to regulate itself and help a person pass all that. So that's it for type seven. I hope you enjoyed uh, these series as much as I did delivering them. And I will write a blog article that is more in depth for each of the ADD types. And you can find links to those on the videos. I will be continuing with other topics here in the future as well. And as always, it's been a pleasure speaking with you and I look forward to talking with you soon.